Hello folks, welcome. We're going to show you how to install a new version of the desktop QR scanner. If you're looking for the URL where to download it, that's it. So let's get started. What we're going to do is download the new version and install it. This is the link to download it. I'm going to save it to the desktop. There it is. See it's a zip file with the release code inside it. I'm going to say extract the file. Again, in this case, to the desktop. There the folder is. Once you've downloaded and you've uh, decompressed it, you're ready to install. So let's do it. I'm going to install it so everyone on the computer can make use of it. To the program files folder and tell it to go ahead. Okay, it's finished installing. You can see we have a new icon on the desktop. Double click on it and it will start the application. There we go. It's up and running. Let's present it with a QR code. In this case it's taking us off to a web address. There we go. Let's present it another QR code. And it's taken us to another web address. What this reader can also do is read data matrix codes. Let's give it a try. Again, off to a web address. Give it another one. Again, off to the web address. In this case, it's back to our blog. And finally, There we go. Okay. Now, you heard it dinging along and basically what it's doing is it's telling you, I'm sorry, I've read this code already. So I'm not going to read it again. So it sees to it that there are no duplicates. But if I change it to another code, it accepts it. scan the same code again, it rejects it. Now why is it rejecting that one? Because the web address in this QR code is exactly the same as the address in this data matrix. 